Hello, my name is Christina Kuferschmidt and I'm a PhD student working with Graham Taylor at the University of Guelph at the Vector Institute. My project is titled Strength and Diversity, Understanding the Impacts of Diverse Training Sets for Self-Supervised Pre-Training for Histology Images. Digital histopathology images are well suited to deep learning, but there are a few challenges. These whole slide images are very large, making data annotation by pathologist expensive and time consuming. Because of this, limited labeled data are available despite the fact that large digital archives of whole slide images exist. This lack of labeled data make transfer learning a popular choice. Transfer learning learns low level features by pre-training on data, often from different domains such as natural images. This technique has been shown to be very effective in histopathology and other medical imaging data sets. Self-supervised learning is a subcategory of transfer learning where the model is pre-trained on an alternative task using unlabeled data from the same domain. In self-supervised learning, an auxiliary task is chosen and labels are generated algorithmically with no human intervention. Self-supervised learning operates in a three-stage approach. In the first stage, we train a CNN to complete one of the self-supervised tasks using unlabeled data. In stage two, the model is initialized with the weights from stage one and fine-tuned using label data. And finally, in stage three, the model from stage two is loaded and tested in unseen data. Our work was motivated by two primary areas. Currently, the impacts of cross-domain pre-training are poorly understood, specifically looking at research within the medical imaging domain. Some research studies have found that domain-specific data for pre-training such as what we would be doing in self-supervised learning, improve performance where others have found the opposite. That using, natural, that using embeddings from other non-medical data sets, such as natural images or textures, provides higher performance. Additionally, very few of these evaluations have been completed in histopathology data sets. Furthermore, little research has been conducted into what composition of source data sets used for self-supervised pre-training result in better performance. The objective of our research was to explore if using source data from different domains for simple self-supervised pre-training tasks can provide a superior initialization for digital histopathology images. For our experimental setup, we took a two-stage approach. In stage one, we subsampled 4,000 images from a single source data set. We then embedded these images into a pre-trained feature embedding and calculated the Gaussian log likelihood score, representing data set diversity. After this, we completed training using one self-supervised task, so either rotation or jigsaw. In stage two, we initialized the models in one of three ways, using weights from self-supervised pre-training, using random weights, or using pre-trained weights from ImageNet. These were then fine-tuned with a small subset of the target data set. For the target set, we used Patch Chameleon, and for the source data sets, we used Patch Chameleon, Tiny ImageNet, Amsterdam Library of Textures, and the Colorectal Cancer data set. For the rotation self-supervised task, the original image was rotated by one of four classes, 0, 90, 180, or 270 degrees. The model was then tasked with picking the correct rotation class. For the jigsaw puzzle task, 100 unique puzzle combinations were generated. The original image was then split into nine evenly sized tiles in a three by three grid. These tiles were then shuffled according to the 100 predetermined jigsaw patterns. Each tile was randomly cropped, normalized, and color channels were jittered to prevent the network from discovering trivial solutions. The model was then tasked with predicting the index that contains the correct tile order to successfully solve the jigsaw puzzle. We found that the performance of jigsaw pre-trained models for all source data sets were comparable or exceeded networks pre-trained with ImageNet and with random initializations. However, this was not consistent with the lowest data regime for rotation pre-trained, where pre-training with ImageNet provided the best performance. The colorectal cancer data set, which exhibited the highest diversity, was found to be a top-ranking initialization for all data regimes and self-supervised tasks with the exception of the rotation initialized model fine-tuned with 100 examples. The colorectal cancer data set typically outperformed pre-training with the patch chameleon data set, suggesting that pre-training with more diverse histology images may help improve performance. We found that there was a positive correlation between diversity, which is represented by a lower log likelihood score, and target test accuracy for all conditions except rotation self-supervised initialized models 
fine-tuned with 1,000 examples. In conclusion, we found that using source data set from different domains can provide comparable or superior initializations when compared to using data from the same target data set. We also found that diversity and model performance were correlated for most of the tested conditions. This suggests that selecting more diverse source data may improve target performance in low data conditions. And finally, we found that the highest performance was using diverse histopathology data sets for self-supervised pre-training. So this may show the greatest promise. Um, as far as future work goes, things that we're hoping to complete are implementing additional self-supervised techniques, investigating source data set combination as additional sources of diversity, and finally, evaluating performance in additional histopathology target data sets. If you have any follow-up questions about our project, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Thank you for your time.